Hi you all, welcome to Jackie Blue and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, welcome. And please come on down and scroll through my videos and see if there's something you're interested in. I have a beauty channel, but I also talk about lifestyle, health, and fitness. And I call you all my baby chickadees or my chickadees. So um, please come on down and be part of my family. And yeah, so... Today I'm going to talk about weight loss, so if you're interested, stay tuned and we'll I'll tell you what worked for me. So, first of all, I wanted to say that I'm not a doctor, I'm not a specialist, and I'm just saying what has worked for me. So, let's get started and I'll show you my story. First of all, I wanted to say that I usually gain three to five pounds every winter. I don't know why, I'm less active, I'm sitting around watching more movies with a blanket on the couch, and you have the holidays there, and food is comfort, and it seems like it makes you feel warmer. We have a long winter here in Wisconsin, so usually I do gain three to five pounds. It's not a big deal, but it does show on my small, my, my small frame. I'm five, two and a half, and five pounds on me is like 10 pounds, and um, I noticed that if I gain five pounds, um, some of my smaller jeans are a little bit tight, and I like them to glide right on. So um, I like to keep my weight at a healthy weight. It's not super skinny, but it's a weight I love, and it's just my window and how I feel good. And I'm not telling anyone they have to lose weight or they need to lose weight. You can, If you're comfortable and happy how you are and you're healthy, that's all that's important. Like I said, I had gained like five pounds and it was getting to be springtime. It's so cold here and, you know, I wasn't really active. I didn't lose it, so I decided to try to lose it. So I have tried keto. I'm not a fan of the strict keto. It doesn't seem to work for me. I know it works for a lot of people and some of them, you know, count carbs and everything and it works fine for you. But for me, the total keto or even just counting carbs didn't work for me because I really missed my carbs. I would try to fill up on the protein and fat and I would still be craving my carbs so I would end up consuming too many calories because I, I would end up eating my carbs too. So it's fine. You know, it works. It doesn't work for everyone. It didn't really work for me. I didn't feel good on it. I felt bloated. I, I Like I said, I missed my carbs. So, so I decided to try counting calories. I haven't counted calories for years. It's something I maybe did once in a while in high school or something, but I, I hadn't counted calories, but I thought I'd try it. And I think that losing weight is really comes down to it. It is all about calories and portion size and what you eat. So I tried to stay on 1,100 calories. That was a little bit too, too little. I was hungry, so I went up to more like 1,200, 1,300, and that seemed to work out fine. And within two and a half weeks, I had lost the five pounds, so I felt so good. So... So what I did is I really watched portion size. I, you know, I tried to eat all healthy foods, lean meats, good fats, fruits and vegetables, whole grains, sprout bread, pasta if it was organic, whole grain and rice, and um, it worked so good for me. And I did not feel hungry and I did not feel deprived. And I feel like this is something you could use to lose a lot of weight or a little weight because you could stick to it. So. That would be my advice to count calories, um, have a variety of foods, and don't overdo one thing, like not too many carbs, just a healthy, balanced diet. Drink lots of water. I also drink kombucha, which I think does speed up metabolism because it's green tea, so I'm sure that helped too. And it worked for me. And I feel like I didn't feel deprived, I didn't feel hungry, it wasn't frustrating. And it was kind of fun. And I think what happens is when you're not counting calories, you don't really believe how many calories you are wasted and you consume. Because when I started watching it, I could say, oh, I, I think that I was just dumping so much cream in my coffee, consuming too many calories, too much butter on my potato. And those are all ways you could, you know, trim down, cut down your calories by measuring and still be satisfied. Your salad dressing on your salad. And I even got through um, my daughter's birthday. We got an ice cream cake, and I just had a small piece a couple nights, and I counted in my calories, and I didn't feel deprived, and I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything. So um, I, st I stuck to it, and two and a half weeks, I lost the weight. So the trouble is with, with weight is when you're trying to lose weight is like you don't want to go on a crash diet because you'll never stick to it. You'll get 
frustrated and that isn't like training yourself to eat that's not training yourself to have a healthy lifestyle so I think that crushed ice don't work you can't go on 600 calories a day and stick to it you're going to get too hungry so my advice if you have a lot of weight to lose to try this you know just try the portion sizes slow down when you're eating chew your food up slow down and chew your food so you feel satisfied and drink lots of water um i kept up my exercises i you know didn't feel hungry and you know it really worked for me so I think that's the key, moderation, um, eating lots of um, good food, healthy foods. You can have a cheat day once in a while or incorporate your piece of cake into your calories. And of course you don't wanna you know, fill your calories with a lot of um, sugar and empty calories because that's not healthy. You, if you're gonna do that, you wanna you know, just do that once in a while. So, so that worked for me and I think it's good advice and it's just kind of back to basics. So um, let me know, you know, what kind of, you know, diet you've been on to lose weight and what's worked for you. I'd be interested to know, but I think this is a key and I think it would work for everybody. So another thing I want to talk about is, is my hairstyle. This is the big Velcro rollers and the hair was dry and then I use, used a big, my Hot Tools big curling iron and cur cur curled it all back and put in the big rollers and sprayed it with a little hairspray and left it in while I did my makeup and then took it down and didn't really comb it too much, just kind of fluffed it. So if you're interested in how to do this, I got this idea from Alyssa55 and she goes through it step by step. She has really good instructions. So if you wanna try this hairstyle, go ahead and watch her. You'll look her up and that you'll, you know, enjoy her videos as much as I do, so. So that is my video for today. I hope you're having a great Sunday. Once again, I want to tell you you're all beautiful and the smile is the best beauty tip. And if you're happy on the inside, it will show on the outside. That's my video for today and I will see you in my next video. Love you all. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.